1075 all hands fire extra engine extra truck in a furniture store on 123rd and 124th and 3rd Avenue in Harlem right now they got two lines stretch I think stretching a third line they have water on the fire but uh, fire remains doubtful It's like a small building, but nonetheless, they're forcing entry to other stores now. Yeah, they got a good smoke condition pushing there. All right, they got heavy smoke pushing on that second floor there. That might be extension, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's cool. Where are you? Let's listen in. I'm coming up to the first floor now. Uh, top floor, I'm on two. Five acres short of five acres, let me know we're gonna break that line. Let's get the tiny one, Watch up. Yeah, check that cellar. Check that. Negative. There's nothing down there. Light smoke. On the first floor. Open up on the top work here. Check it for extension. We do have fire in the ceiling. Alright, that's what I used to that first floor, fire in the ceiling. That's what? Alright, that's what. Five thirty five feet back from the front door, we have fire in the ceiling, bubble stop. That's somebody check that second floor. Alright, they have fire in the ceiling. Fire in the ceiling right now somewhere. That's what? No water on the lens. Oh, 
four three to the top. We have Ali on the third floor. Looks like it's burning through between the second and third floor as well. We're having trouble finding access to the rear. All right, Tampa, where is it burning through? At the top of the stairs from the second to the third floor. We did a personal primary search. It's negative up there, but the floor is getting ready to go. All right, Tampa, you should have 58 up there. Tampa, you have to use the one. Five to commands. We're going to take all line up to the third floor. All right, that's over. Sorry, Shelford. All right. They got fire on second floor to the third floor. They can't really find it. It's burning through. They're taking more windows. They said this was a furniture store, but it's not a furniture store. It says uh, transitional community living. They're bringing up another line. I believe that's the fourth line, but I'm not sure. All right, we're in the street. get fire on the walls and they're very hard to get out. At this time, 35 pulled back down with their line. They're operating on the first floor ceiling. 
Line, they charge that line. One, two, three, four, three. Five seconds, man. Three. Yeah, give me another shot. We're gonna send fourteen out. All right. Let me move back a little bit over here and see if they can see something more visible. Very hard to see. And there's a setback. That's one. That's the second floor that we're gonna have to drop down to. I think. All right. in a, an area that's uh, a bit hard to get to. You come in, left hand is the fire is burning through the ceiling up to the third floor. Stairs. Fire is burning through the third that's floor. Fire there, I, I, got, I got pretty good heat in this room. I got good heat in the room. He's going to transmit the second alarm. He's right there in front of you. Uh, let's see if Manhattan answers. up the command post. It's not coming through the radio. NC Division 3. Division 3 to Manhattan. There you go. Fox 1464, the address of 2277 22, 3rd Avenue. Using all hands, the fire on the first floor of the three story. 30 by 40. Okay, I might, I might have uh, misunderstood or misheard about a second alarm, but I thought that that's what I heard. Uh, obviously not right now, at the moment. They have a three-line stretch, one in operation. Uh, they're going to take it off my 
Same furniture store. I don't know if the whole building is a furniture store or what. Where the furniture store is. I see a laundromat to the left side and Exodus transitioning community in the fire building, ground level. see if I can see something in the back guys but they got a good heavy fire condition inside the building that they can't get to. Where is this fire? What are we looking at? We got to get into the second floor or through the first I came floor? back here somewhere in the back here. Yeah, I don't know. Right now we got fire in the ceiling midway back on the uh, first floor. I have no, I haven't been up to the second floor. Looks like it might have run across around the dust work and it might be a void between Exposure to it right Can't now, really see no nothing back here, but they got place. heavy, heavy, heavy smoke pushing. Very That's heavy cool. smoke and pushing back here. Are we that? You only have a line on the, on the floor. You don't have a truck on the second floor. Three, five, take a man. Three, five, take a man. Come back. There's a yeah, bench. We're running low on air. We're going to need relief on the first floor. All right, that's cool. Uh, you see right here where my finger's pointing, there's a heavy smoke pushing. That's where they have the fire that they can't get to. Yeah, now we got heavy fire on the fourth side on the second floor. I, uh, I That's right here. Back. Heavy yeah, fire on the uh, fourth side. Uh, back floor. here. So you should see a globe or something popping through here any second now. This is two buildings behind uh, the next street over. Come in. Come in. Hey, see, we have two lines on the second floor. It's getting a little tight up here. We're positioned in our line. Come in to uh, 5-8. Well, we're going to start pulling out, man. So if you want to start getting the guys to back out to so that second floor. And to bring everyone with you, back to the staircase. They want people out of the building, it seems like. The second alarm units are all coming in now. Start backing out towards the front here of the building. They want everybody out. The fire's back here. I'm going to go back up front, see if I can see anything. Bobby Anderson, can you have some operate that line on the first floor? Along that two-side wall, on the stairwell going to the second floor. The fire is extending up. Uh, let me see. Fire detected. Come in. Come in. Let me see back here. Start. Protect that top of the staircase away. Uh, one step past. All right. They're backing everybody to the front of the building so they could regroup and try to hit the fire. Uh, <laughs> Nine, one, two. Again, they're bringing everybody out one, to the two. front of the building. Just, just come over to the 
Where was that, Mike? Come on over to the command post so we can account for everybody. All right, that's one. Division 3 to all officers on the team. Report to the command post. All right, it looks like the fire is in the back over there. I might go in the back. I don't see nothing pushing from the front over here. But I might go in the back over there and check it out. JJ. Go. Four, squad four on route to command. Command to, uh, 58. Frank, you coming back down? I hear 10-4, Maddie. All right, 10-4. Four, three over to command. Come back. You got fire through the vent hole in the setback towards the uh, forward side. Alright, I'm going back there. That's where they seem to have right, fire. Uh, my feet are soaking wet because it's raining. Uh, I'm going to go back here to the setback and see what you can see again. Copy that. We got fire through the vent hole. Forward side on the rear setback on the second floor. Forward side, rear side. Let's get a little Tommy. Get all the guys off the roof. We're all back and down. Yeah, 10-4, working on it right now. 10-4, let me know when everybody's off the roof. Let me see if anything is visible back here. Command the fire section. Fire section. Let me know what the company is in any of these places. You got some fresh truck companies in any company. You see the glow up there, but there's no... On the first floor, I got 91 engines on the line, I got 30 trucks. Squad 4-1, roof to command. 4-1, lady interior. Very, very smoky. All right, here's the fire. Command. All members off the rear All right. setback. All right, here's the fire. Four three OV to command. Command. Got a window on the four side on the four exposure. If you can get a line up here, you'll be able to hit it through the window. All right, which which what would be the best way to get that line up there? You think? The four side, if you go up to that, it's an office on the second story. You can go through there, or there's access through the, the rear. Second alarm units are still coming in. Go up one, two, four. That's the two side. All right, tough This is the only angle right now, guys, and it's not burning in the front. It's burning back here. Four, three, to five, eight. Uh, you can see the glow. You can't see the flames, but you can see. you still need the saw up there? See the embers and fire okay, glow, okay. glowing. This is gonna go to the third alarm easily if they don't get a quick a quick handle on it. Guy, you guys are all down, right? I'm on on the second floor with Phil. We're behind the line. It's not the down fly. All right, everybody, come on down. They want everybody right, out, out of the building. Mike back, no matter where are you? Hey, Bobby, I'm on the second floor with the line that came up the first. There you go. We have to go fire down, but the floor is getting hot under us. We're starting back out now. All right, ten four. Let me know when you down, all right? Ten four. Roof to fourteen bucket. Bucket. Turn the fire through the roof. Nick, you fire your bucket up to the roof and grab some guys and bolts. Let's get iron. You can see the flames, but there's a lot of smoke. Final four three. Final four three. Any designations on your other side? You guys on the floor above? Yeah, we're going to come to the other floor. Ten four go. Battalion 10 is your resource unit leader. Battalion 17 is your safety officer. Engine 24 is transporting satellite 1. Uh, should staging be required, the selecting staging area is going to be East 123 Street at 2nd Avenue. And also as a command channel been established here. So if we want to bring everyone out, we'll just bring everyone out to the front and then we'll regroup. 10 foot, everybody's out, 58 should just come to speed. You see them right now. Did you have another foot line going up through the rear somewhere? Yeah, we have another engine company. 21 is going to go. 
Oh, All right, guys, up. we got here to an adjacent roof. Yeah, we're all up at the front and we're on our way down. The roof is uh, clear. All right, 10-4, you still have fire through the roof, right? 10-4. 10-4. Mike, if you go through exposure four, up to the second floor, you can go out the second floor, onto the setback, and you get water yeah, heavy on the fire. Heavy fire, fire through the roof and through the window here. Ten floor, Tommy. What do you need there? You have one line? Engine two on? You need anything else? Negative, all 21 stretcher here. Do you have with you? All right, there's a lot of smoke, it's raining. They have heavy fire through the roof. I don't know if it's coming in clear, there you go. And through the side windows. When the wind blows that way, you'll be able to see it. One six to division three. This is gonna go to three alarms, very easy. Yeah, ten four. It's going pretty good. It's through the roof and it's uh, blowing out the window towards the fourth side. But uh, we can get a good shot on it from here. Ten four. Another one coming to town. Can't see nothing with all the smoke. Command for ladder floor two. Ladder floor two. Ooh. Where are you guys? How are you hanging out? There you go. Yeah, it's not clear as you can see better what's going on. Are you guys in exposure 2 as well? We are in exposure 2, 10-4. Alright, Ladder 4-2 has exposure 2, so I redirect you and uh, help out an exposure 4 and get to the rear. Alright, 10-4. We're, uh, we're in the upper floors of exposure 2. You want us to switch to exposure 4? Negative, negative, negative. Three, three, four. 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 Engine 2-1 and 2-1 Shover. 2-1 Shover. We'll take water when you're ready. 10-4. Alright, we're trying to get water on it. Two one control to 2-1. Two 2-1. One. Two one. You have enough line that you need water. 10-4, good on line, send us water. 2-1, 10-4. this and the other way of looking at this. Command 2 of Battalion 1-6. One 1-6. Six. One six. Yes, sir, is that going to be the best way to hit this or uh, should we start supplying the power out of it? Let me see back here, guys. This is a little different angle back here. Let's away from the smoke. Yeah, this is much better. Better. The heavy, heavy That's fire awesome. pushing throughout. The smoke is going to be in the way, so I can you, predict where the wind is, but as soon as the smoke blows the other way, you'll see the fire.
They're putting water on the fire right now, um, at least through the window there. But they're gonna need a lot more water than that, and I'm from above. As you doing the command? Command. We have water on the fire through the window off the setback on number four side. That's right down there, right, I just showed you. Right there. Now they're going to have to get in there. I'm sorry for the quality of the video. You guys always tell me not to apologize, but I try to get the best I can. It looks like they got a small mini fire tornado in the center. You can't see it from the screen. I mean, because of the smoke, but right there in the center of your screen, there's a little tornado blowing right there. You see it twisting around? I need squeeze. Ladder 2 engine 2-1. Fire spreading. Two Looks one. like they brought a tower out on the side, but we I don't know. We have a pretty good shot at it because uh, we have another alternative if you're having any issues. We got a decent shot at it right now. We're working. 7-4. John, come to the rig. We're going to have to uh, get a hydrant. We're going to start the stretch off. Stretch to uh, tower ladder 14 for the bucket. They brought in a tower ladder on the side here, but I'm not sure. How to feed the iron? Let me see. Some of them came on top of that building right there. Uh, it's raining uh, pretty hard, so the camera's getting focused on all kinds of things. And again, I apologize for that. They got some of the fire knocked down down there, uh, where it was blowing out that window. Now they got to work their way either inside or somehow to get the bulk of that fire out. I'm going to go back over there. I came over here to show you what they're doing on this side. The members are coming on with another line from up here. Uh, it looks like they're going to stretch it and hit it maybe from this side. I'm not sure. Uh, they brought a ladder up over here. As you can see on the screen how heavy it's raining. So that's making it hard for the camera to focus. But they don't have anybody with a line up here yet. It looks like they might be bringing it up now but they're talking about it and discussing it Down. The roof is clear, all members are down in the street. 
Danny, come down to three. Command two or five nine. Engine five nine. Yeah, see if you guys can get the line up to the roof of exposure four. Uh, we think we can hit it from there. Either you want to go to four or four eight. Uh, this will probably wait till you can hit it from the roof there and hit it to the boat. Maybe just come up, so we're gonna go 74 inch, we're gonna stretch an inch to three quarters. So forget the roll ups? Yeah, forget the roll ups, we're gonna stretch off 93, uh, 74 inch. 74. One seven, one seven alpha. One seven alpha. Yeah, is there a scuttle in the explosive floor? No.
What actual address is still in the support of the stairwell? Uh, I believe it's 2276 has a green uh, canopy on the street side. So they're moving the hose out of the way. Joey. So a 14 bucket can open up. They got members over here too on this side. Fire seems to be concentrated in the same spot the whole time. Doesn't one look six like, to one four bucket. like it traveled much. One four. Bucket to one four. Ready for order. That's four. One four to seven four. You can charge our bucket. Five two, five two. Five two. You should actually give us something. Uh, start heading up. Can you have somebody come down and meet? We're on uh, one two four street. Got them for my chauffeur's on the way down now. Five one four six five nine ten minutes. Third alarm. They want a third alarm. truck is going to be spraying water from up here somewhere where my finger is. They're on 3rd Avenue over there. Command to engine 5-9. Five 5-9. Nine. Five nine. Alright, so you're going to do a bottle drop and that line is going to be on the roof of Exposure 4, correct? It is. Well, it looks like Exposure 4, uh, 4A, right by the, uh, the exit is signed. The warning. 2271 is the address. And who is going to be operating on the roof of you guys? Uh, as of now, station 5 on the back here. Off the water. Battalion 1-6 to command. Command. Battalion 1-6 to command. I'm on the roof of 4 and 4A. Ooh, I guess they're coming up like 4B. I'm getting out they of that. We'll use their line up there. They might be able to hit something. They're 14 bucket can. 21 knocked out a good bit of fire. Whew. There's about an 8 by 8 hole in the roof of that suspect, and it's the flame to burn it through there. 14 is knocking that down now. Alright, I, I got away from that. Alright, so we got 59 coming up the area uh, to help with that other explosion. 1-6, 10-4. Thank you for that sign command. Shoot 59 engine on the roof of this building. 4-4. Uh, 14 tower ladder, which is up the street, is uh, knocking down some of the fire. But they can't get inside the building with that stream, so it's still blowing. I can see it through the smoke. Go for it, over the wall, full bucket. You guys good with the water? Fuck it, 10 for. It's getting very, very cold and nasty. I think that's going to be the extent of it right now. From up here. All right, guys, I might have to get down from here because, quite frankly, <clears throat> it's blowing everywhere. Command to engine 93. Yeah, we're on the third floor setback area. The tower line is knocking it down right now. Do you want us to charge this or hold it up? 
down and you, you, would that help? Will you get the, would you be able to hit it from the third floor window or you think Carol Lott is doing it? Oh, I got the camera up here. The Carol Lott is not hit right now. 14 drop. Step up. Uh, they wanted to see if they could charge a line here, right here, uh, but the truck, if you see the line down there on the ground, uh, right there, but the tower ladder from 3rd Avenue, from 3rd Avenue is knocking down the bulk of the fire that was burning for quite a while, because they are operating outside of the building, but I'm going to go downstairs, over here, if you look where my finger is, that's the firehouse right there. Right there, where that battalion unit is. That is the firehouse. All right, I think I'm gonna go downstairs, folks. Uh, Tower Lab is doing a really good job at hitting it hard, but as you can see, there's tremendous amount of smoke. A lot of it is gray and black. So there might be some heavy fire still inside of the building and traveling throughout the building is a small building made of wood. I don't know where they know where the furniture is. Look, there's the glow, you still see fire. I don't know where the furniture store is. Uh, that place was a furniture store that they said. And um, so I don't know how much fire is actually in there. Sorry guys, I had abandoned that spot. That smoke came right at us. I had to get out of there in a heartbeat. But anyway, as I was saying, they have a lot of gray and heavy black smoke still pushing. You can see above. So there's fire inside that building. It's going to be a combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat to get it out once they get back inside. And I wanted to show you where the firehouse, I came over here on the other side. Came over here on the other side. That's our engine 35, tower ladder 14, and battalion 12. So literally right across the street is the fire. Uh, the dirt alarm units are starting to come in now. And they're trying to make headway. One for the 58 shelter. Uh, there's smoke pushing from the eaves of the building as well. The tower ladder did make a dent on some of the fire. No for the 42. And the smoke is blowing the other way. Here come the third alarm units. I hear them in the distance. They're coming from all different areas. Also, there's a glow up there, but I don't know what that glow is. Okay, they put this line in operation that I showed you before. They still have fire inside the building, as you can see. Uh, the tower ladder made a dent in pushing some of it down and out, but there's heavy fire inside this building. Right now. I'm three in the front. We might have to open the walls and we get a line. Definitely heavy fire in there. All right, so they got the, I think they got four lines stretched in operation now. Uh, I'm gonna stay a little bit longer. I thought I was gonna go down, but you know, the smoke is pushing that way right now. Uh, they're bringing in more members the over here. Engine nine three. And they're spraying. Nine three. All right, Tom, just checking. You have a charge line, and it's still here, too, on the third floor, correct? Yeah, 10-4. We're right. operating now. There's, you can see some fire. He's locked right down. Here comes the smoke again. 10-4. We're going to have 37 going there as well, little mine. We're still in there with them. All right, 10-4. The rain is subsiding. Right, the rain is subsiding a bit. I'm going to stay here a little longer and see. Hey, Mike. Bring the uh, bucket down a little and try to shoot up into the uh, ceiling if you can. If you can get the angle. All right, he's going to shoot again. I'm going to get out of here before I get hit with that stream because he's asking him to raise it a little bit, even though it's all the way on the other side. Right, Those things truck opening up the walls here. are very powerful. Uh, Negative, we're good for now. Right. 90 degrees up and that, operating that line from the two side of 59th operating from the fourth side. It's, uh, they're running lines all in. Down a little, but, uh, it's they're running down. lines in all these buildings. The fire is darkening down a little bit. Oh. 
Uh, I just came uh, to the front here. The scene has changed dramatically from when we first went up. Here you have your EMS, uh, FDMR EMS. 170 All right, we're gonna go to the front and check it out uh, where we were originally. The two third alarm units are starting to come in. <laughs> All right, brother. I'm gonna go show you the uh, tower ladder operations. Let me go around here. Radio's breaking up. I don't think it ever pushed towards the front of the building. But the smoke does. All right, there you go. You get a better view and a better angle. Looks like uh, most of it stayed in the back where you saw the whole time. community is what they may be calling a furniture store it might be some type of furniture store but I am not aware of it uh, over here on the left they have a laundromat and most of the fire seems to be inside the building it may have started in an apartment I'm not certain and sure of that but from the looks of it that's what it looked like to me because there wasn't a lot of fire on the ground floor level there at all Outside exterior brick uh, curtain wall. Must be maybe some insulation in there that's burning. We might have to uh, knock the block out from the interior. All right, he says that there might be some insulation burning. Four to two, third floor front apartment. Exposure two, which is here, might have some extension into it in the in the in terms of insulation, I'm not sure if that's correct. Exposures, you guys will know better. The 
Look at the amount of smoke pushing from that building. Enormous. I'm going to go to the command post and see what's going on over there, guys. The smoke is billowing throughout the whole neighborhood. Where the rack at? There the rack at. Rack 3. Look at the smoke billowing. And it's coming in from some of the cracks of the building to the left, which probably is exposure too. Like I said, I've said it before, I can never get it right. I'm not really too sure which one's two and three. I know which one's one and four. I think, no, one, two, three, I don't know. Either way, there's a lot of smoke pushing from the side of that building over there, right inside there. If you can see the smoke pushing through some, some cracks there, I don't know where those cracks came from. As I was saying, I was going through the um, command post. to the command post over here. Command to the is two, three buckets. Two, three buckets. All right, we think you got it knocked down pretty good there. Start heading up to the roof level and start hitting it from the roof to get to that uh, rear setback. That's what. Command to the one, four buckets. Oh, boy. Uh, you guys can make where you are. Keep hitting it, and if you got to get higher to the third floor, you can do that, too. Oh, boy. Command Battalion 1-6, uh, exposure 4th sector. Battalion 1-6, exposure 4th sector. Tommy, any progress up there? Uh, we did docking it down, but it's it, it, uh, coming back with a vengeance. 93 is still operating from the two side, and 59 is still operating from the four side. We're going to reposition 59's line and uh, 
try to get a better vantage. But they say they're knocking right it now. down and it's coming back with a vengeance back there. I'm not going to go back up to that other building, but. 1 6, exposure 4 sector, 10 4. Uh, I was informed that it did pop out through the front of the building for a few minutes uh, while we were filming in the back. Uh, I missed that, but it wasn't very long. It's a full complement of FDNY, FDNY EMS, and all of that stuff. Two four on the second floor in that veteran affairs office. Searching through negative. There's squad 41 from the Bronx. All right, that's what you guys see. They leave. Are you okay? Negative, we're good. How are you, brother? I'm at the ladder 154. What's up, Johnny? How are you? Uh, I gotta go schmooze with a member. I'll be back. Command ship is telling one six. All right, they're moving around assets back and one forth six. where needed. We got the command channel going, so uh, switch over to channel two. One six ten four. My eight on two. Ten four. I'm gonna check around and see what's what. Uh, like they have uh the um <clears throat> the lines are all over the place, so I don't really even know. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can anything back here. The members are in there now. I'm not gonna go in there, but there's uh, still heavy smoke condition. They're checking it out. Nothing visible. And the chief is checking Resource it out. Resource unit, two ladder, five, nine. Entry 59 of these doors are on uh, the roof of the floor of the hallway. <clears throat> it's pushing some really, really nasty looking black and gray smoke. Uh, this might go to four alarms, at least for even relief purposes. But they're checking it out right now. Um, there's nobody in there right now. If it smokes clears, I'll go back in. That's where we originally went. I'll put the camera through there. Supposedly there's fire pushing back there again somewhere. It's clearing up. Let me go take a peek. All right, I went in back here, but uh, it's completely flooded now. The whole area is completely flooded. But as you can see, they said there's fire pushing in the, uh, the back set. There's a lot of, um, a lot of heavy, heavy smoke pushing. We had better be from All right, they're bringing in members now, so I'm gonna push back. A special call two trucks. All right, they're bringing members into the building next door. Right, to the command. Chief, we're on the second floor. We have some extension and there's some insulation up here. There's no active flame, but it's a heavy smoke condition. We should get a line up to the second floor of exposure, too. All right, 10 floor, 93, engine up there, will They're operating from exposure to uh, the third floor and to the roof of the uh, fire building. Uh, he's bringing them to the building next door, the building that we were on a half an hour ago. Uh, he wants them to do some kind of a reconnaissance of some type and see if they could put a line in there. I didn't hear all the details, but this is the building that I said was pushing black and gray smoke. It's pushing big black and gray smoke, as you can see right there. 
or you may not be able to see so it's so dark. I don't know if they're going to be able to run a line, but they might try to from up here to the back, the back set. I'm going to go down to the second floor and see what two trucks are talking about. I think they're talking about the smoke that's between the cinder block and the Yeah, I'll pull with a lot of two. We got engine 37 coming up for the line. Four me with them, where you need them. Go there. All right, sir. 162, one. Battalion 16, engine 2-1. Engine 2-1. Just stay back for that wall. There's a bunch of... All right, this is getting a little bit uh, complicated. They continue to have to stretch lines. Yo, stop me. We're going up to two. Engine 2-1. 2-1. Pull all your members back to uh, the next roof. Simple. Ladder 2, engine 3 seven. Engine 3-7. I sent one of my guys down to meet you and bring you up to 2. Look at that. Now there's smoke still pushing from that crack up there that I mentioned to you guys before. Uh, I don't know if it got into that building or if it's in the insulation, but in the cracks up there where I showed you before, there's smoke pushing up there. Now there's a lot of smoke coming in the, on the first floor. If you look above, look at the heavy black smoke. And I'm sorry to repeat myself, but there's a column of gray smoke and there's a column of heavy, heavy black smoke pushing. You'll see it in the background. There's your gray smoke and behind it is your black smoke pushing the other way. Look at it now. As you see, it's rolling very, very heavy, very heavy black smoke rolling right now. And then we'll get you back in there. Alright, simple. We opened up on the third floor. It's pretty good right now. We'll uh, come out in about five minutes. 10 floor. 
And I've been to enough of these fires to know when there's fire inside a building. But when it's rolling like that, the building next to it is smoking too. There's got a lot of stuff going on right there. Moving all the way across to the right is the, the dark smoke. And in the middle, you got your gray smoke. They just gave a progress report. I missed the progress report. So, so any, uh, any leeway, any idea about that exposure uh, three? We're going to be able to access it for They're checking windows and forcing entry over here. Continue to uh, take some windows, break these windows here. I'm not entirely sure what the um, situation is. Uh, they might have some smoke in there. Most likely residual smoke. Uh, the smoke is no longer coming through those little cracks. guys just gonna give you uh, a little update this was uh, about I took about a 20 minute break uh, it stopped raining somewhat and they're making good progress they still have fire in the building but as you can see the smoke pattern has changed tremendously to mostly all white and has diminished somewhat uh, I've explained this to you guys before, but these old, old buildings, you know, the fire gets in the uh, walls, in the ceilings, and in the floors, and this is what happened. And early on, this fire was in between the second and third floor, and subsequently spread throughout. Uh, they continue to operate, uh, I think, two tower ladders. And four hand lines. I'm not entirely sure because I missed the uh, progress report. But as you can see up above here, it's getting a lot better now. However, that doesn't mean anything is written in stone and that everything is okay because they got to get it out entirely. And they're going to have to do a lot of work to get it out. It's mostly in the back, as you saw. And that building extends quite a bit into the block there. And right now, that's the update. I'm going to continue to monitor for a while. And as long as it stays dry out here, I'll hang out a little bit longer and monitor the situation. Uh, also, the holes over here that were smoking, they're no longer smoking. That was under pressure. And as you saw uh, a few minutes ago, they uh, ventilated. They broke the windows to the uh, second floor of that building and uh they continue to 
open up and operate. So you guys are hitting right now, it's really good. Um, right along that line, coming up to the road, you're hitting that hole right
Alright, they're checking everything out. The Red Cross uh, conditions are improving. They just gave a progress report. Uh, 4646 four, control. Things are getting better. 4646 control. We'll get up the roof level and you're going to uh, break it. Temporary connected. Connected ready? Four six line connected. Engine four six exposure three seconds. Engine four six to four, exposure three. Check it out. Chief, we're ready at the roof level, we're ready to charge our lives. Chief, we're ready to charge. Engine 46, 46 Alpha. Alpha. We'll charge our lives, be ready. Sound 4, head come to work. got a little bit of the progress report. I'm going to wait for another one and see. But like you see, uh, things are getting much better. Seventy-four representing. Well, we'll send this engine seventy-four up to relieve engine two one on the roof. They're gonna operate under you. Engine seventy-four, ten four. And you said best access is through exposure four building up to the roof, correct? That is correct. They can come into the exposure four building up to the second floor, out onto the setback. Engine 74, you copy? Can you say that again, Chief? Best access is to exposure the floor, second floor, setback. All right, 10 four. All right, they sent in engine 74. Oh, they were standing over there by the command post. They sent them in just now to operate. Uh, one of the lines, I guess. Uh, you got a, a decent amount of smoke pushing on out of the um, first floor now. Uh, I don't know if that's residual or the pockets of fire seeping down, but there's, there's the smoke there. It's very heavy in nature, albeit white, but still. And there you can see that amount of smoke pushing out. A lot of water pushing out too. Some of it may be steam. Look at the water coming out of there.
sorry, the, cam the camera popped. I don't know if they're gonna do another. Progress report shortly. I thought it was just steam, but there's a lot of white smoke proceeding from there. Just wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, it comes and it goes. And the fire did pop out the front, but very, very little. As you can see, right around there, that dark area. For a minute or so, I don't think that long. The most fire that they had was in the back. But there's the uh, heavy white smoke I was telling you about. Alright guys, they're trying to... Uh force entry to the store here. I don't know what is going on, what they see or what they don't see or what they need or what they don't need. But they brought a saw to the front of the gate and they're examining it. Looks like somebody from the store came and they're gonna open it up from the inside. Stop, 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 stop. They're still looking at the gate. It's very damp, very raw out here, and it's like three in the morning, I think now. This fire's been going on for quite a while. Uh, the smoke was starting to dissipate, but now it's starting to pick up again. Although still gray and light white, but not as much as before. So I don't know why they came to the front of this building. Uh, uh, maybe something that they know that we don't, so we're gonna monitor for you, okay? And they're not talking a whole hell of a lot on the radio anymore. I uh, just wanna show you what the uh, runoff water that during some of these fires do, uh, mainly by the intersections, where drainage is not too good. They create little floods, tiny little floods, but you know, there's nowhere that I can walk through. Uh, I'm trying to get across. And I showed the rack before, but I'll show it again. Where the rack at? There's the rack at, rack three. From the Boogie Down Bronx. Uh, they set up their tent today and everything. Like I said, it's been raining, it's been pouring, it's lightening up, uh, but still it continues to, um, come down and there's the rack at rack three now let me see how I get across the street all right I am gonna do another little report for you guys they continue to operate and uh, pour a lot of water on this fire but still they have pockets of fire in the building and it's around 3.30. They're checking all the rest of the buildings back there. And they got into that gate that they wanted to get into. So, um, 
yeah, just letting you guys know, but still a decent amount of smoke pushing. Uh, from uh, the building. As you can see. And it's still hugging that second side there. But they haven't said anything about heavy fire anymore for quite a while. So it looks like they're getting the upper hand on it finally. the two tower ladders they're coming and they're gonna relieve these two the two tower ladders that are on scene right now Alright guys, just to give you another little update, they had a small partial collapse in the back here. Everything's along the two walls, the two and the four side. So you can probably go up and start working. Get up on that wall. Yeah, that's one of the two walls. Yeah, that's one of the two walls. They had a small partial collapse in the back there somewhere. I'm not sure where. But they still continue to operate. And everybody's safe. One thing. Any uh, change? Yeah, it's talking down pretty good. The uh, the front half of that, the roof of the, the front half roof of that setback has collapsed. The back half of that setback, the roof is still intact, so it's a little hard to drive water in underneath. We only have the one window on the fourth side to drive water underneath everything else is coming from above all right so i'm monitoring the situation back here with the uh the collapse uh they moved some of the members around yeah you guys saw that explosion they're moving members around the collapse I believe it was a small collapse in nature in the setback. No one was injured. No one was hit with anything. Uh, and they still have pockets of fire. They just mentioned it a little while ago in that back area, still uh, burning.
right, guys, they're rotating a lot of the units around and stuff like that. They just brought in the fuel truck. Um, I think they're gonna fuel up one of the units. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I think they're doing a fourth alarm. Yep. Hold on. Avenue, Okay, guys, they just transmitted a fourth alarm. Uh, even though some of the units are packing up and moving things around, what they're doing is they are rotating, they're getting two tower lines coming in. And uh, they just transmitted the uh, fourth alarm, as you heard, probably for rotation and relief purposes. But they still have fire in the building and uh, a lot of smoke pushing from up there. Uh, also, I think this is the fuel truck. I believe it is. They're going to be doing some fueling. Uh, we're going to continue to monitor it a little longer. I think they're gonna replace 14 tower ladder and 23 tower ladder. They've been operating for a long time. moving around going on right now They're fueling these units over here. It looks like they are. It's very hard to see with the red light. But that's the fuel truck. That looks like a newer one. One six. One three is gonna help relieve you around the room for you uh I am on exposure four. On the second, out the second floor, on the setback. Ten four. Did you go up the interior? Did you go up one of the? Uh, who was the best way up? Yeah, originally I went through the interior. It's uh, that would be the best way to go through the interior four. The second floor. Then out the back. 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 Out to see where this fire goes. As I stated before, they transmitted a fourth alarm. Uh, smoke seems to be, uh, it goes and it comes, it comes and it goes. Mixed signals. The smoke starting to pop out of the second and third floor again.
I came back over here to the uh, command post. They brought in a lot of big chiefs, chief of operations, Esposito's here, and uh, Chief Lee is here. Lee. Yeah, there's some there, but it looks like a lot of it is going more towards like the setback area. Towards the rear of the roof, and it's towards the setback. We go up and over like we originally did. Can you get it? I think they'll have to get shot at it. Yes, Chief Reed. Engine 5-8 there. 9 2 one Chief, if he wants you guys to drop it, you'll come up above it. Five two seven to 5 3 They got one of the tower ladders out of here. They're bringing in another one. Uh, they got some of the ladders rotated. Uh, a lot of moving around. A lot of big chiefs are here. Uh, Chief Esposito, Chief Leap, and uh, the division chief. Just a lot of chiefs. One, two, three. I see around six or seven. Uh, and a lot of operations going on. Still some pockets of fire in the building. And uh, smoke pouring out from the top there. And some coming out of the second and floor. Second and third floor as well now large contingency of FDMY EMS. The temperatures are dropping. Excuse me. The temperatures are dropping uh, dramatically as well. well. We're gonna hang around a little while longer, but then we're gonna be uh, at some point or another taking up. Safety. That first over. You can shut down 14 bucket. That one. One forty fifty nine truck. For yellow walk down uh the All right, sorry guys, I missed the progress That's report. Three forty-one. Your duration is three hours seven minutes. Okay. Okay. Fuelcom gave a report. They're gonna go probably will hold. Like I said before, they're rotating the tower ladders and ladders. And uh, yeah, so they're going to be continuing to rotate and continuing to operate doesn't mean uh, doesn't mean that the fire is over resource unit leader to exit 9-1 9-1 where's your rig precisely 1-2-3 and 3rd avenue sorry i had a schmooze for a little bit anyway just because they went probably will hold doesn't mean that the fire is over they're going to continue to operate and and uh, overhaul and you know all that stuff uh, they have quite a large contingency of FDNY members still here in EMS and they continue to operate and the smoke's still pushing 10-4 Chief, leaving engine 5-3 It's over three hours that we've been here. I don't want to show up. 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 Show up.
They're going to swap out engine 74 and uh, a few of the other units. They brought in the next tower ladder, tower ladder 17. Uh, they're connecting it. I don't know if they're going to be spraying much, but who knows. Uh, it looks like everything's out completely in there, but they're hooking it up and I guess they're going to be ready. Uh, a lot of the units are going to start taking up soon. And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue to monitor it for a little bit longer. Just to make sure. Uh, and they're putting the tire ladder up. I'm not sure if it's connected to any of the engines yet or they're gonna reconnect it to another engine because 74 is gonna be taking up they disconnected their line so there's an engine back there 35 engine uh, but I think they're waiting to get into their house there's got to be another engine somewhere oh there's engine 6 it looks like it just came in Engine 6 might be um, swapping out with engine 74. And then the uh, the line that was disconnected will be attached. And then they'll run it to the uh, tower ladder. What's up, what's up, fuck it. Okay, I guess engine 4-5 is going to give tower ladder 17 the water. Uh, 74 or 6 is not going to be hooked up yet, so I didn't see engine 4-5. It must be on the other side. Okay, 4-5 is going to supply 17. So there you have it. We're gonna hang around for just a little bit longer and then we're gonna be out of here. It's almost 4.30 in the morning. It's very raw. Temperature has dropped tremendously. 
John Esposito, E S P O S I T O. I'm the Chief of Operations for the FDN Line. So, we received an automatic alarm here this morning uh, about 12 34 a.m. Uh, units arrived on the scene, found smoke in the building, uh, called additional units to the scene, and eventually uh, discovered fire on three floors of the building behind me. Uh, we eventually had fire on all three floors, fire through the roof. Uh, it was an exterior operation, fire throughout the building. Um, we're still on scene, the fire is not yet under control. We have five minor injuries, four firefighters, and one civilian. Uh, and we anticipate we'll be here for a few more hours. We've had a partial collapse of the roof into the top floor. Uh, we have hose lines on the roof uh, of the surrounding buildings and still have an access, uh, trying to access the fire and put the fire out. Was anyone inside the building? Uh, there, there, there may have been a, a worker or a cleaner inside the building early on uh, that relayed some information to the fire department, uh, but it was not an occupied building overnight. It's a commercial building, not residential. Is it clear that where the fire may have started? 
Uh, we don't know that yet. That'll be uh, under investigation by our fire marshals. Any challenges in fighting this? Uh, just access uh, and, and being in the building with that much fire throughout. Uh, it's an older building, starts to affect the structural stability of the building, uh, makes it dangerous. The stairway burnt out, uh, makes it very dangerous for, for our members inside. Uh, and the chiefs, we decided to pull everybody out of the building uh, and, and conduct exterior operations. Any there are your residents, any evacuations or any impacts? Uh, the building next door on the corner, we've evacuated that building due to the smoke getting in there. Uh, we didn't have any fire extension into it. Uh, but, but the, there should not be as much smoke as we had earlier in the night. When might they be able to get back in? Oh, sometime later this morning, we anticipate people will be able to get in. Nothing was residential above the first floor? No, not in the fire building. It's a commercial building. No, nobody living in that building. Are you familiar with the business here? Do you know what they do? Or uh... Uh, I, I do not. All right, thank you. All right. Thank you Thanks, very much. Thanks, fellas. Thanks. Have a good day. All right, Chief of Operations Esposito gave a briefing on the fire. Uh, I wasn't able to hear all of the details, but um, uh, I'll check it out later. We're going to be taking up. It's too cold. Two and two, we're going to see you all on the other side.